What's going on everyone, John here from The Real Talk, back again with another video, and today we're going to be going over my Black Friday 2019 4K and Blu-ray haul. So, to be perfectly honest guys, I went completely overboard this year, uh, and I thought last year I went overboard because I finally upgraded to a 4K TV and player, and I still ended up getting like 25 or 30 movies. Uh, but this year, I, I guess here right now are 47 movies, a mixture between Blu-ray, 4Ks, and Steelbooks. Um, it would have been around... 50 and I, I didn't do it by uh like hey i'm gonna get 50 movies it was completely by accident uh but i actually do have those three other movies and they're here uh but i can't get to them <laughs> they're in the mailbox and i don't have the key unfortunately my brother uh has that in his keys and he's at work but whatever i actually postponed the video to wait for that package and last uh last night i actually got part of the package but i got one of the four movies that i ordered and i was like you know what I want to do the video already, so let's get it over with, you know, because there's a lot to get to. Uh, uh, but starting off, guys, there is two movies. There's actually my uh, Black Friday haul, a, a kind of mini haul that I got before Black Friday, and two movies that I'm going to do a video for that's going to be released tomorrow, guys. And a, again, quick shout out to uh, Universal Home Entertainment for sending me Hustlers. If you guys follow me on social media, you guys know that they sent me this a few days ago, and I was completely excited because I haven't seen this movie. I heard nothing but good things about it. So tomorrow, uh, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and giveaway uh, for the digital code for Hustlers and also for Ready or Not. Uh, both movies are actually available already on the iTunes store, Vudu, all those digital stores. So if you guys want to see the movie, uh, you guys can on uh, on digital stores. And this is actually getting released tomorrow on Tuesday, and this is getting released uh, next week. Uh, so there's going to be one. Uh, one video for both movies, two unboxings, two chances to win uh, each movie. So just the digital codes, unfortunately. So there's that, guys. Uh, be looking for that video tomorrow. All right, guys. So let's get uh, started with kind of my haul that I got uh, before Black Friday. Uh, just because I love these movies and I had to get them. Uh, so the first one is The Peanut Butter Falcon. This is one of my favorite films of the year. I believe it's still in my top 10. Uh, as soon as I saw the trailer and knew the cast and knew the concept behind this movie, I was like, you know what? I got to see it. I saw it. I fell in love with it. And I'm so glad I picked it up. It was only $12.99. It was on sale the week it came out. And then now I believe it went up. It's like $17.99. So I'm glad I got it in that sale. Uh, another movie that I was, I was highly anticipated to see because I heard nothing but great things about it. And I finally saw because I uh, once I bought it, I popped it in and I saw it. That's the farewell. Uh, again, it was like 20 bucks, but I was like, you know what? For a movie like this, I think it's going to be worth it. It's A24. Uh, they've been putting uh, out hit, hit after hit after hit. And consider this another hit. I love this movie. So glad I own it. And uh, yeah, again, another win for A24. So this movie actually grew up watching it. It's one of my favorite uh, childhood movies, childhood like child adventure movies and stuff like that. That is The Goonies. I did not know this existed, the steelbook. And once I saw it in stores, I, I freaked out because I was like, damn, this is, must be like a kind of like hidden gem, you know? But joke's on me because I went to another Best Buy and there was like 10 of them. <laughs> so, uh, but still, nonetheless, it was 14 bucks. I had to buy it. I love this movie. The Steelbook looks awesome. Uh, I can't believe it. I don't know if this is movie is in 4K, but I didn't actually own the Goonies before. So I was like, you know what? The 4K Steelbook. And this one looks great. Is a good one to finally own. So I'm glad I waited to uh, buy the Goonies. And another steelbook, I uh, actually have three right here. Another steelbook is for Alita Battle Angel. Again, I thought I missed my chance to own this uh, steelbook because when it came out, fortunately, obviously, I was like, you know what? I like the movie a lot, but is it really worth it? I actually got this on sale for 25 bucks. Uh, and I was like, you know what? That's a steal. I would have paid 30 for it. Uh, so this steelbook looks awesome, looks beautiful. And I really actually enjoyed this movie. I like everything behind it, the mythology and stuff like that. So, so glad I picked up the 4K uh, steelbook version of the film it's gonna look beautiful in 4k and another movie i saw this year and i absolutely loved i didn't get a chance to see it in theaters unfortunately but i saw i rented it and uh i finally own it and i probably should have waited to own it but anyways that is rocket man on 4k the steelbook again another great awesome looking steelbook I love the steelbook. It just looks awesome. And this movie is fantastic as well. So highly recommend all the movies I've been showing you guys right now. Um, and then going back to a film uh, for Shia LaBeouf, it, that is Charlie Countryman. I actually don't really know much about this film. I knew it was coming out when it was coming out, but I didn't get a chance to see it. Uh, and I don't, that's what, that's, what, that's what I was saying. Like, I don't know if it's like good or bad. I haven't heard people's opinion about it, but I like Shia LaBeouf. Uh, and this movie was actually a dollar. So I was like, why not? You know, um, maybe that says something about the quality of it, but, uh, we'll see. I, I'll give it a shot. Uh, I always say watch a movie and make your own opinion about it, but you know, whatever. Uh, and actually two movies 
that I was waiting for uh, in the mail. Uh, it is Ben Hur. And this is part of my Black Friday haul, by the way. Uh, this is uh, part of the movies that were in the mail and all that stuff. So I finally own this movie. I, I saw this movie for the first time earlier this year. And this movie is fantastic. I highly recommend it, guys. If you guys want to check out more of my thoughts on it, there's a review on it on my channel. And there's another movie that I got in the mail too. And that is Kong Skull Island. The 4K was 10 bucks. So I was like, you know what? Uh, to get ready for next year's King Kong uh, versus Godzilla or Kong versus Godzilla that which got pushed back but I'm still you know trying to get ready for I uh, had to pick up a Kong Skull I didn't actually really enjoyed that one so uh, getting these movies very quickly out of the way uh, and starting with my uh, Black Friday haul that I actually got in stores uh, is starting with a movie called Shadow. Actually, my dad picked this up, but I'm kind of glad he did it because I had nothing but great things about it. Uh, same director from uh, House of Flying Daggers uh, and also Hero, and I like both of those movies. So, um, yeah, it looks like a, a great movie. The cover looks awesome, and my dad picked it up, so I had it included because he said, hey, just put it in your collection. I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> uh, but another movie, finally getting to uh, some of the movies I've been waiting for. I, I didn't buy them for this reason. I was like, you know what? They're going to be on sale for Black Friday. I'll wait. Uh, you know, some of the steel books I wish I would have got, but, you know, for this price, the price of, of, of that they were on Black Friday, you can't go wrong. Uh, so that is, the first one is Dragon Ball Super Broly. I love Dragon Ball Z. I have a review up for this in my channel, and I finally got it, uh, this movie for 10 bucks, guys, and that was a steal. Uh, and I can't wait to dive into the extras. And uh, yeah, guys, if you guys like Dragon Ball Z, let me know who's your favorite character. Uh, so, all right, guys, continue on with Booksmart. Again, one of the movies uh, I saw and fell in love with earlier this year. And it's one of the best movies of the year. I believe it's streaming on Hulu, but I was like, you know what, for 10 bucks, I'm, I, I, I'm a digital media, not digital media, I'm a physical media guy, right? I have a huge collection. I was like, you know what? If it's on Hulu, I don't care. I'm gonna. It's gonna go away some sometime, some point in time. So I want to be able to watch Booksmart whenever I want. Uh, so there's that. Another great pickup is John Wick Chapter Three: Parabellum. Again, this is one of the best action movies this year. Uh, this franchise should keep going. I think it is. Uh, I actually saw a video today that they're like, "Oh, what would you, uh, what would you like more, a John Wick Chapter Four or The Matrix?" And to be perfectly honest, I, I say you know continue with John Wick. Uh, strike where that why the iron is hot, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this kind of ended it in the cliffhanger, and I was like, you know what? I want to see what happens next. Uh, but anyways, uh, a great pickup on Black Friday, I believe it was like $12.99. Uh, another movie is kind of controversial from this year, um, but I actually really enjoyed it. I like this franchise. The ending of this movie, I don't agree with. Like, I'm kind of, you know, I, I see what M. Night Shyamalan was going for, and that's obviously glass, but um. I don't hate it as much as everybody else. I, I think just because the ending was bad and I may not agree with it, kind of like Game of Thrones, we shouldn't throw away the whole show. We shouldn't throw away the rest of the movie, which was fantastic and good. You know what I'm saying? Great performances. Uh, I can't wait to see it in 4K. Again, it's on like HBO or something, but I want to own the trilogy. So another movie that I actually really enjoyed. I kind of have mixed feelings on it. Like I was raving about it when I first saw it. And now I'm kind of, you know what? It's good. But it's not up there with my other favorite Spider-Man films. And that is Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh, like I said, I, I, I loved it. But it's just not not quite up there like I thought it was. Uh, but yeah, great pickup on 4K. Uh, again, the Steelbook wasn't really cool looking, I guess, I, in my opinion. So that's why I was like, you know what? I'll wait for Black Friday. Sure enough, it was on sale. So I'm glad I picked that up. Uh, another movie that I really enjoyed. And it's another kind of childhood movie that we got this. Uh, something from my childhood that got a movie this year. Uh, and that is Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Uh, it was cool to see these Pokemon come to life and stuff like that. Finally, they made a movie about it. I remember like almost 10 years ago uh, seeing pictures of like, oh, what these Pokemon would look like if they were live action and stuff like that. And I would always wonder, could they make a movie work? And to be perfectly honest, I thought they made it work. I would love to see a franchise of this or love to see a franchise of a Pokemon trainer trying to get to the like the way like we did the show. You know what I'm saying? So, so glad I finally picked this up on 4K for a great price. Uh, again, another movie I really enjoyed is Shazam. This movie I actually bought twice uh, when I ordered this online and I went to go pick it up at Best Buy. They didn't give me the, uh, the slip cover, and I was like, why not? So I went to go get the slip cover. I was like, hey, so this is the same movie. All I want is the slip cover. Can I take it? And the girl <laughs> the girl said, oh, I'm sorry. All exchanges and returns must be dealt with customer service. I'm like, this is not a return or exchange. I just want this little piece of paper, this little cardboard. You don't know how much this means to me. <laughs> so I had to buy it again and return the. I, anyways, a great movie, guys. I really enjoyed it. Uh, these, this DC... Uh, yeah, DC is uh, going on the right track here, in my opinion. 
Uh, another movie. Oh, what the heck? Free Shutter three months sh- streaming trial. Awesome. I, I didn't know that. Uh, but anyways, it's Crawl. <laughs> uh, I honestly did not see that sticker, guys. I saw the movie with 10 bucks. I actually really, really enjoy this movie. It's simple, straight to the point. Two people trapped in a, a, a attic with two alligators. Simple as that. And them just trying to survive. And it's uh, suspenseful, thrilling. Uh, it doesn't have any added love story or anything like that. Uh, it's just straight to the point. I really enjoyed this movie. It was 10 bucks. It doesn't have a 4K uh, uh, version yet, I think. Uh, but yeah, it c- includes a motion comic and uh, an alternate opening too. Cool. Awesome. Honestly, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know what? I just got these movies. Uh, you know, it was Black Friday. It was hectic. So I got these movies and I went home. <laughs> so cool. This is another pickup. Uh, another movie. I actually... This could have been way better. And it is kind of sad to see this franchise go out on this note. Because they're part of Disney now. That's X-Men Dark Phoenix. Um, the stuff with Magneto and Professor Xavier uh, or Professor X, I really enjoy. That's my That's been my favorite part of this newer franchise, X-Men franchise. And I thought, again, they did a pretty cool... James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender, great performances. Um, I just really like the stuff with the X-Men. I like to see them work together and stuff like that. So for me, it wasn't... You know that bad i know for me at least it's better than last stand or um x-men apocalypse i kind of and i and x-men orange is wolverine x-men last stand i can't really say because i haven't seen it in a while so it's kind of unfair but i know that i wasn't really a big fan of that either uh but i i could confidently say this is better than x-men origins and better than x-men apocalypse in my opinion uh the score is fantastic it should it should just it just should have been in another movie. Uh, but yeah, in 4K, I uh, can't wait to see uh, how it looks in 4K. It should look decent. And I cannot wait to see this in 4K. And that is Godzilla King of the Monsters. Uh, again, in preparation for next year's movie, I had to pick up this one. I already have Godzilla in normal, ver- the Blu-ray version. But uh, I got this one in 4K. So this one should look beautiful uh, in 4K. Hopefully, my stack is building up. It's like leaning this way. And I don't want it to fall, but it's probably going to fall. So I'll probably do this. <sighs> okay. <laughs> uh, another movie I actually really surprised and really enjoyed. I saw the concept and was, you know what? I'll probably see it because I really like Camille and Johnny and Batista. Uh, but I'm, I wasn't expecting much. But Stuber actually ended up being really great. I really enjoyed it in 4K. Why not? You know, I was going to get the Blu-ray version. I was like, you know what? For $3, it's in 4K. You get both of them. Why not? You know, so I was like, cool. Can't wait to see this with my family. I don't think they've seen it yet. I think they really enjoyed it as much as I did as well. Uh, and another movie I I did not want to own. I wanted to own it at some point. But I was like, you know what? I kind of made a promise. Not a promise. But I, I said this. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to own any of the Marvel uh, cinematic universe movies, the MCU movies, the Phase Three, because I want to wait for the complete collection. Why well, ended up getting Civil War? Why well, ended up getting Spider Man? Uh, I believe what else? Black Panther, Avengers: Infinity War, Endgame, Spider Man: Far From Home, and now I have Captain Marvel. <laughs> uh, and again, I should have got the Blu-ray, the 7.99, but I was like, you know what? Why not get in a 4K? You know what I'm saying? Um, I actually, I enjoy this for what it is. I I was expecting a like you know the MCU has a certain level of entertaining movies and character story and stuff like that i didn't quite get that with this i thought they should have made her a little bit more relatable but other than that i really enjoyed it i really like brie larson uh and i thought the movie was okay cool graphics some some of the de aging is like questionable but i actually really enjoyed it it's a pretty cool mcu movies you know that it's not one of my favorites but it's not one of my least favorites uh so I was like, you know why not i i, I want to support the mcu and and the movie in general so i got it in 4k so uh there's that and this stack is really uh, hopefully it doesn't fall. But anyways, going forward, guys, because this video is going to be super long. This is going to be... Um, I actually split up the movies from uh, this year. So all those are all the movies from this year, I believe. So And these are movies from last year. So I actually already own Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. But I was like, you know what? I want the 4K disc. I have the Blu-ray Steelbook. And unfortunately, I don't know why they didn't make a 4K Steelbook of the uh, version of the movie. But I was like, you know what? I'll buy the 4K at some point and add that 4K to the, the Blu-ray Steelbook. Uh, so I was like, why not? But anyways, uh, again, it was a great price. That's why I did it. So I have two versions of the movie. So I might be actually giving this uh, Blu-ray, uh, the digital download code at the end of the uh, video. If you guys want it, let me know. If you guys want Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse, I'll give that one away. Uh, but yeah, I picked it up just to have the 4K version of the movie. And another movie, I actually want the 4K. The 4K Steelbook looked amazing. Uh, but 
I was like, you know what, I'll wait. Uh, you know, I don't have to own it right away. Uh, but I really enjoyed it. I really enjoy this franchise. Uh, but I picked up the Blu-ray because it was four bucks. That is Creed too, and I, I actually found the only uh, uh, slipcover with it. Uh, all the other ones just had like the disc. Uh, but and it's actually a pretty good condition as well. Usually, like if it's like the last uh, cover, they're not really good. But anyways. I really enjoyed this franchise, really enjoyed this movie. Uh, again, I would love to own it in 4K, but it wasn't that version of the movie wasn't on sale. It's only four bucks. I was like, so why not? You know? I wish really wish I would have got that steel book though. Uh, and then another movie I really enjoyed from last year, but I actually saw it for the first time this year. No, I saw it late last year. But anyways, that was Mission Impossible Fallout, the 4K again. All these movies weren't on a great price. I was like, you know what, why not? I have the rest of the movies. I actually have Rogue Nation and um What's the other one? God damn, I'm blanking. But anyway, Ghost, uh, Ghost in the Shell. Uh, damn, I'm still... Ghost, Ghost Protocol. There you go. I actually have those on Blu-ray, but... Um, and I was contemplating on getting this one on, uh, on Blu-ray, but I was like, you know what? This movie looked beautiful, and I think it's going to look beautiful in 4K. Uh, so another movie I really enjoyed last year, and another again, another, again, another DC movie, and that I see this guy right here. If you guys watch Watchmen... You guys know what I'm talking about. But anyways, um, Aquaman. Uh, I, I really enjoyed this movie. I actually got to see it like a two weeks early. Uh, at a, I think I like won tickets from someplace. Not sure, but I took my cousin. I had a great time with it. Uh, I can't wait to revisit it on 4K. And all these, I'm so glad I got slipcovers for a lot of these. That makes me so happy. To, as a collector, I'm pretty sure you guys agree with that. If you guys are collectors yourself. So I actually did not mind this movie at all. I thought it was probably my favorite transformers movie if not my second and that is bumblebee i really enjoyed this movie i thought uh the human aspect of it was actually well done and obviously bumblebee in that relationship was really well done as well i hope they kind of use this as a restarting point and kind of start from there because i really love the transformers movies uh, or the characters in that story but the movies just have it's just come on you know what i'm saying yeah they make a lot of money and stuff like that but only the first one was decent the other ones are kind of you know but anyways, I got boom because I really enjoyed that one. Another movie I've been wanting to own ever since I saw it, uh, but i just been waiting for the right time, and this was the right time. That's Overlord. I really enjoy the heck out of this movie. Uh, it's going to look great in 4K, and I cannot wait to revisit it. So these movies I actually haven't seen, but they were like this was actually 6 bucks, And it's on it's streaming, but again, I was like, you know what? I'd rather own it. I had nothing but great things about this one. That's a simple favor with Blake Lively, Lively and Anna Kendrick. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this real fast. Uh, so anyways, I heard nothing but great things about it. I actually don't know what this movie's about. I just heard it's really good. So I was like, you know what? My, why not just buy it? Uh, yeah, can't wait to check it out. Another movie uh, that was highly recommended to me uh, was The Hate You Give. Uh, again, uh, this movie looks interesting. I really want to check it out. I heard nothing but great things about it. So so glad I bought that for six bucks as well. Another uh, couple other $4 uh, dollar movies was Red Sparrow. Again, I haven't seen it. Um, I heard mixed things about it, but I was like, you know what? I'll check it out, see what, it, what it's all about. And Hidden Figures, I believe this is 2016, 2017. Uh, again, heard nothing but great things about it. Again, four bucks, why not? In this movie, I didn't think I was gonna own it uh, or anytime soon. I was like, you know what? When I saw it, it was 10 bucks. I was like, I'm buying this. I don't care what, it, like if I go over budget, whatever, that's James and Giant Peach. I didn't know it was gonna be on sale. I saw it for 10 bucks and I just looked around and I just got it. <laughs> I was like, you know what? They're, I don't know who else is looking for this, but I think it was one of the last two movies too. Uh, so again, for 10 bucks, this is one of my favorite childhood uh, movies. I remember watching this one a lot. I recently uh, revisited it like two years ago, but it's about that time that I'd revisit it again. So got it for 10 bucks. And going on to my last batch here, uh, this is the last batch that I got actually. Uh, that is If Bill Street Can Talk. Uh, this movie, I haven't seen it, but I heard a lot of great things. Obviously, it was it, it was up for some uh, Oscars and stuff like that. Bay Jenkins is one of my favorite filmmakers, so can't wait to check it out. And another, another movie that I actually did check out was one of my favorites was The Favorite. <laughs> no pun intended. I uh, finally got this. Again, it was, it was they, these movies weren't on sale, or at least these two movies, but I was like, you know what? It's about time to own them. It's about time for me to check out If Bill Street Can Talk. I believe that's on the streaming service as well, but... Again, I'd rather own the, the physical version of it. And this movie was on sale, and that is The Matrix. I almost bought the complete trilogy. Uh, my dad went with me. Again, he got one of those uh, 4K movies. And he's like, you know what? I still owe you a birthday present. Pick something, and, and, and I'll, get you, I'll get you it. And we're going to get to that in a moment. But uh, at, uh, first, he was going to give me uh, like the complete Matrix. I was like, you know what? 
let me revisit this one first and then like I'll, I'll see if i want the other two because uh from what i can remember i love this one and the other ones growing up i really liked them but then i was like you know what like now seeing them again um yeah <laughs> but anyways another movie that uh the, again these weren't um these weren't on sale actually let me get them all together uh actually yeah this is oh no i actually have one more but you know what let me let me just okay look gone in 60 seconds <laughs> i grew up really liking this and this actually has one of my dream cars uh in it so i was like you know what why not i don't think this has a 4k version but it was only like four bucks five bucks so i was like you know what i might as well pick it up been meaning to pick it up and rewatch it for some time now and again constantine this is another movie i've been wanting to pick up and uh, rewatch for a while now so again it was 4.99 not that bad uh and this one actually was on sale and this that is black hawk down uh i remember really really enjoying this as a kid and i remember growing up and watching it again really enjoying it um uh, but I don't know for some reason i think i remember hearing something bad i don't know if it was about the sorry about the uh 4k transfer of, of the film but uh we'll check it out <laughs> and then another movie that i wanted to pick up for some time now let me see what cover does this come with all right cool so it is that version all right cool especially because it had another it kind of had a sequel this year and that is terminator the first one uh i do have the uh t2 judgment day uh in 4k and I was going to buy the Blu-ray for it because it was, again, 4 bucks. But I was like, you know what? I'll just own the 4K for now because the 4K transfer is kind of bad. Uh, at least I heard so. Uh, so I haven't checked it out. So I want to check it out. If it's bad, I'll trade it in and buy uh, the Blu-ray version of T2 because that's one of my favorite action movies. But anyways, finally got the first one. Can't wait to revisit it. I remember really liking this one growing up. I, I think it was like for Terminator Salvation. I like rewatched the whole franchise. Uh, and I remember really liking that one. But anyways, another movie I was not planning to get, but I saw it. It was on sale, I believe. So, uh, and I thought this uh, steelbook looked amazing. That is Alien. Uh, I was going to get that um, like six movie uh, steelbook, but it was Blu-ray. And it already had Prometheus and Alien Covenant, which I already own. So I was like, you know what? kind of want to own the other Alien movies because I don't own them. Uh, but anyways, the first one is fantastic. And I want now I, I'm just waiting for the Aliens steelbook and I'll probably just own those. But anyways, this one looks great uh, at a great price. Can't wait to revisit that. And last but not least, guys, uh, well, kind of last, is Mortal Kombat. <laughs> uh, growing up, I really liked the video game. I was more of a Street Fighter guy, Street Fighter kid myself. But Street Fighter actually it does have a movie. <laughs> uh, but actually, I really now that I think about it, I got to hunt down that movie. Uh, well, hopefully, it's in um, Blu-ray. But anyways... Um, I really enjoyed these movies and the second one as well. I was always waiting for a third one, but now we're, I guess we're getting like a reboot or something, which I don't mind. Hopefully it's all good. Uh, but anyways, Mortal Kombat. Can't wait to watch that with my brother. Me and him watched that one, the sequel as a kid. We really enjoy it. So last but not least, if you guys probably saw the thumbnail or you guys follow me on social media, you guys know that I got this again. My dad's like, Hey, you know what? I owe you a birthday gift, man pick whatever you want you know and i was like, all right cool i'll get the matrix uh on 4k like the whole trilogy and i was like you know what i think i saw something that i rather have more than the matrix trilogy and that is the uh batman 4k ultra hd four film collection from uh 1989 to 1997 obviously this one came out a while ago it was on sale for like at like five ten dollars off but anyways he's like all right cool you want that then get it. I was like, all right, cool, whatever. <laughs> so shout out to my pops for getting me this. Uh, this something that I really wanted to own because uh, I really enjoy these Batman movies. I really love the Tim Burton ones and the other ones, Joel Schumacher ones. I grew up watching them and I love them for, I love those movies, maybe for the wrong reasons, but I love them. So, uh, and that's that's the whole point of my channel. If you guys like any of other movies, love them. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to have the uh, approval of anybody else. And again, Watch the movie, make your own opinion about it, and that's it. If you love it, you, if you love it, cool. If you hate it, cool. Anyway, so regardless of what everybody thinks, I really like this uh, set. So, yeah, I cannot wait to dig into it and finally watch these movies in 4K. So, I cannot wait for that. Uh, so, that is going to be it for my 4K haul, guys. Again, if you guys want that uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, let me look at... Uh, let me give away, like, two other movies. Um, hmm... Five hours later. All right, guys. So I finally settled on some movies. Uh, of course, like I mentioned, Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse. Uh, but also, if you guys would want Stuber 
or Aquaman, let me know in the comment section down below. So how you guys can win these uh, digital download codes is be subscribed to the channel, like the video, and comment down below which one you want. Simple as that. Hey, I want Aquaman. Hey, I want Super. Or hey, I want Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Comment in the comment section down below. I'll give you guys about two weeks. Let's say two weeks. A week and a half. A week and a half. And I'll put the date in the, uh, the bottom right here right now. Uh, so if you guys want any of those movies, again, be a subscriber. Uh, like the video and comment down below which one you want. Uh, but all right, guys. Let me know what you guys picked up on Black Friday. Was there anything you guys left out or something like that? Like, hey, I really wanted this, but I couldn't. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about uh, these pickups. Did I, you know, overbuy or whatever? Uh, but whatever, guys. Uh, whatever you guys want, let me know. Comment in the comment section down below as well. So, all right, guys. If you guys want to follow us outside of YouTube, you guys can. At The Real Talk. Talk with 2Ks on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. And until next time, we'll see you at the movies. Peace.